Hey, what's good, fam? Today we are going to learn how to 3 star Town Hall level 13 as a Town Hall 14. First, examine this base. We must check whether is it weak to air or ground. Second, is it anti high HP or anti low HP? Third, it, how exposed are the heroes and clan castle? Fourth, how exposed are the eagle artillery and Town Hall? Fifth, which siege machines are effective here? So as we look at the air defenses, you can see that they are quite exposed and vulnerable at the corners with a little protection. So we are going to use air troops. We can also see there are two multi infernos and one single inferno and therefore we can use high HP troops instead of low HP troops such as dragons and dragon riders uh, instead of balloons. We can also see that the Barbarian King and Royal Champion are exposed while the Archer Queen and Tank Castle are quite centralized and protected. Eagle Artillery and Town Hall are quite reachable as well but they are on the opposite uh, side of each other. So we have to split up our army into two parts in order to deal with the Eagle Artillery first followed by the rest of our troops towards the town hall. So for this base, we could use a blimp to lure out the CC in the middle, but then there are not a lot of uh, key defenses in the central area, so instead we'll be using stone slanner that will be coming from the east side. Now let's talk more about our attack plan, part 1, we will be using Yeti next to this builder hut on the northeast side, followed by a giant and 5 hot riders next to the army camp, so we will target the wizard towers and archer tower, which will lure out the CC troops in the central. Next, we will follow up by deploying the Valkyrie on the west side next to the cannon and the baby dragon next to the bottom cannon followed up by Archer Queen on the west side with the room and 4 heroes uh, beside the Archer Tower This will lure the CC troops towards the west where we will deal with them and using Poison Spell and Rage Spell and also take up the air defense and eagle artillery. Okay, part 3. We will follow up with uh, Barbarian King on the north side next to the cannon and Valkyrie on the next to the gold mine. Follow up by four breakers towards the archer tower. And once the Barbarian King entered, enters the north compartment, we will send in the Fate Hunter. After luring the Archer Queen over the wall, now to take out the North Compartment. Once uh, that is going on, we will proceed with the 4th Department on the east side. Two uh, balloons next to the Elixir Collector, followed by Dragon Rider, Grand Warden, Stone Slammer, Apprentice Warden, and Lava Hound. We will be moving across the white line towards the southwest uh, air defense. Hopefully, we will activate the Grand Wardens ability when they are close to the air defense and uh, town hall. Finally, we will be deploying the Royal Champion on the southwest side next to the cannon in order to take out the air defense and catapult and RC using Fizz. So now let's check out the
Alright, let's talk about our second plan of attack. This is another same power level 13 base. But this time is a bit different. As you can see, the air defenses are quite protected with walls and a great distance away from Archer Queen's reach. So it's not and you can see that 3 out of the 4 crossbows are anti-air so can uh, decide to use ground troops. You can also see that the Iga artillery town hall, although they are quite uh, far away from each other, they are still well protected with walls. So we are again going to have to split our army into two parts. Looking at the Inferno Towers, we are also going to use uh, multiple troops, low HP instead of high HP troops, such as Super Hawk Riders. So as I can see, the crossbows are more on the southwest side and far away from the Ika artillery, so we are going to use flame flame on the northeast side. Beside the Dark Elixir Drill, so that we can target both the single inferno on the north and the Ika artillery. That is our first deployment, followed by our second deployment on the southwest side beside the tower. We will deploy two Yetis, one uh, next to the elixir collector, another next to the gold mine, followed up by Archer Queen, uh, perpendicular to the town hall, balloon and four healers. After we will use wall breakers and giants to break through the wall beside the town hall to access the tower. Then after we will use another two giants once the town hall is down so that they will get next to the bomb towers to lure out the CC troops from the central. So CC is very centralized while the heroes are more exposed on the northeast, so we have to take care of the heroes as well afterwards. So our third part will be deploying Yeti and Witch on the east side to distract the single inferno on the east side and for our way. Uh, we also use recall spell on the AQ and the surrounding support units to take them out from the town hall after luring the CC troops. Then we will redeploy and Recall them on the northeast side together with the rest of the army, and we also deploy all the super hot riders.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for the algorithm. If you like more of these videos, please comment below and tell me what you want to see next time. Thanks for watching and peace out.